This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the buffer region and the half equivalence point. Let's start with the equivalence point. The equivalence point on a pH curve occurs when stoichiometrically equivalent amounts of acids and bases have reacted. This is when the solution contains only salt and water. The pH of the equivalence point depends on whether the salt produced is acidic or basic. Here we have a pH curve of a weak acid and a strong base. As you can see, the pH of the equivalence point is greater than 7. Next we look at the buffer region. A buffer solution resists a change in pH when small amounts of acid or base are added. The buffer region on a pH curve represents the region where small additions of acid or base result in little or no change in the pH. Here we have the buffer region on a pH curve for a weak acid and a strong base. As you can see, the addition of the strong base results in little change in the pH until the equivalence point. Next we look at the half equivalence point. The half equivalence point is the point where half the acid has been neutralized by base and converted into salt. At the half equivalence point, the pH is equal to the pKa. So here we have the half equivalence point on this pH curve, and as you can see, the pH is equal to the pKa. Next we look at an example. To determine the volume of NaOH added at the equivalence point, we draw a straight line from the equivalence point down to the x-axis, and as you can see, the volume of base added is 22 centimeters cubed. If we draw a straight line across from the equivalence point to the y-axis, we can get the pH at the equivalence point, which is 9.5. Next, we'll determine the pKa of the weak acid. So at the half equivalence point, the pH is equal to the pKa. The half equivalence point is at 11 centimeters cubed. So we draw a line up to the curve and then across to the y-axis, and we can see that the pH is 5.4, Therefore, the pKa of the weak acid is also 